Under the classical theory of insider trading, corporate insiders are prohibited from trading in their own company's securities using non-public information. The misappropriation theory, first articulated in United States v. O'Hagan, extends this liability to corporate outsiders who misappropriate non-public information obtained through a breach of a fiduciary duty. In Securities and Exchange Commission v. Rockledge, the First Circuit took an inside look at the requirements for a misappropriation theory-based insider trading charge. Scott Rockledge was the chairman and CEO of Cubist Pharmaceuticals. Scott often shared non-public information about Cubist with his wife, Patricia. Scott told Patricia to keep the information confidential, and she agreed. However, Patricia had an arrangement with her brother, William Beaver, under which she told Beaver about any material, non-public information she learned about Cubist. Beaver owned stock in Cubist. One day, Scott told Patricia that a Cubist drug had failed its clinical trial, which would negatively affect Cubist's stock value. Patricia told Scott she was going to tell Beaver. Scott asked her not to, but she did anyway. Upon receiving the information, Beaver sold all his Cubist stock and shared the tip with his neighbor, David Jones, who also sold all his stock. The Securities and Exchange Commission, or SEC, brought a securities fraud claim against Patricia, alleging that she engaged in insider trading based on the misappropriation theory. Patricia countered that under O'Hagan, her pre-tip disclosure to Scott that she intended to share the information negated any liability and filed a motion to dismiss. The district court denied the motion. Patricia filed an interlocutory appeal to the First Circuit.